we're meeting a world famous celebrity psychic who's going to give us a relationship reading. So yes, you will be getting married. Woo! <laughs> right, so there will be um, children in the future. Can you see how they look? I can. So you, your relationship is really good. You know, it's meant to be. The card that's representing you is, is one of my favorite cards when it comes to relationships. Um, this is um, the card of somebody that is like emotionally in touch, you know, uh, not afraid of sharing their emotions, um, somebody that's um, quite open and honest, wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, great husband material, great father material. <laughs> so this is why it's one of my favourite cards. If, if, if ever I'm doing a relationship reading for somebody and we get this, I think yeah, you're fine, you're, you're alright. <laughs> okay, do you have any other questions at all? We have Gosh. a few, yeah. Oh yeah, she made a note. Forgot. We were in the car, we're like, what can we ask? <laughs> is there anything in the future you see us like fighting about, where it's like a big issue, maybe like currently that will become an issue, or just something that we need to like? Let's see. Focus on. See, the thing is, when I'm looking at you, it's not like you will never have an argument. Like, you yeah. Have an argument, <laughs> but I feel that you, everything is very short-lived. Mm -hmm. You do see what I mean. Yeah. If you do disagree. We yeah. actually, yeah, we very rarely, rarely argue. Yeah. If we do, we, we work it out, don't we? Yeah. Because we don't want it to lead to resentment, which yeah. then leads to a big fight. I mean, the thing is we, with, with you two is you're very much on the same page. Mm -hmm. So there's very little to disagree over. Yeah. yeah. Do you see what yeah. I, I definitely think? understand that, yeah. You know? yeah. So you both have the same, you both share the same kind of vision. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no opposite ends or anything to really work out. You know, there will be times where, you know, something something is said that perhaps can be perceived in, in the wrong way. But I don't see it as a major um, issue. I see it as more of, you know, accident, yeah. you know, <laughs> rather than, um, you know, a major problem that's actually going to stop the relationship or cause a problem within, within mm -hmm. the relationship. It's like the true, the true test will come in um, when, there's, when there's something big to deal with. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I've got you both sort of working that out okay, okay? Um, as long as you always remember to keep communication open okay mm -hmm. even when you don't feel like it yeah. another random question is can you see where we're going to get married because we, we have no yeah we have no idea like, <laughs> we always think about like, where we want to get married but we have no idea where that will be <laughs> okay let me just have a look because i've got like a couple of images flashing through my mind um, but I feel when I'm looking at them because they're so opposite I feel like these are ideas that you've been thinking about as opposed to actually possibilities I think it's going to be the UK yeah mm. right yeah I see. <laughs> can you see what type of wedding she's <laughs> obsessed like with everything to do with wedding yeah basically. as you can tell <laughs> is it going to be a crazy wedding it feels like it's going to be I want to just use the word beautiful you know yeah, I, I, it's got a really nice energy to it. It feels like lots of thought has gone into every tiny de detail. Yeah. Um, so, you know, what I'm being shown. Because I, I, I felt like there was something that was perhaps a little bit more sort of um, overseas, almost like holiday like. Mm -hmm. Well, that's um, what we, we were thinking about beach wedding. Um, I don't think you were actually going to settle that at the end of the, settle on that on the end of the day. So, really? yeah. Right. I see it as a strong possibility, strong contender. But there's this this feeling of settling in or marrying in the UK, and it's like a quaint little church. Right. I felt like it was symbolic of where you met. Okay. Like, but but I don't see you getting married in London. No. No. Uh, but I do see it in the UK. In the UK. Mm. But it will be symbolic of that. Can we know anything about our kids? <laughs> you could tell us well there was family. there was the boy that I saw earlier very again really creative I can't get like a quite interesting it's very outgoing child you know yeah. um, vocal you know yeah. um, very strong opinions very strong thoughts very strong ideas obviously you know, great combination <laughs> um, communication being um, one of their real strengths 
okay so how they present themselves and what they present there is almost like an artistic energy with them as well right you know um, but what that decides to translate to because that could either be music it could be mm. um, art itself or it could be in the creation of, of ideas um, but yes I feel like it's like chip off the old block is what I keep on getting mm. right <laughs> Fair what about what about the girl? If you said you said you're kind of getting visions about a girl. Okay, let's just see if I can find her. She's further down the line in terms of timing. Um, she's quite driven. Um, she'll be quite sporty. Right. Okay. Um, so she's going to be very active. Um, I feel again she's got a really strong personality. I feel like her strength is going to be in some kind of sport. Right. You know. She's going to be quite passionate about that. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Can you see any animals? <laughs> <laughs> Another big concern of mine, what kind of animals will we have? Animals? Why do I, I, do, I do get dogs with you. <laughs> She's a massive dog lover, aren't you? I'm a massive animal lover in general, yeah. Yeah. But that's, what we go, that's if we do have arguments. Not arguments, but like, I want a lot more animals than he does. He's like, no, there's no way we're having a cat. There's none of this. <laughs> so we always, we always like talk about like I'll have a cat in the future. So no, you're not. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, it's because you say you're having eleven cats, and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely get dogs, but big dogs. Yay! Really? Mm -hmm. I prefer big dogs. Right. So my feeling is two dogs and cat. That's what we were That's talking about, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you see anything to do with like our friends, like potentially coming between us, or any new ones coming in? New like friends coming in. in, yeah, or like interacting with our business or. Anything like that? Um, let's see, because I feel like you've nipped something in the bud before it even got to... We, we keep our circle very close, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that the most important thing is that you trust each other's judgment. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you probably will come across certain people that actually have a bit of a, you know, a, a negative energy, but I just don't see them getting close to you. Okay. Um, enough to be able yeah. to, with, with, with neither of you picking up on it. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So I feel like you're going to always have, um, you know, the support around you. There is a feeling though with you that you need to watch um, um, other females, not all of them, but other females mm. in terms of I jealousy. already do. I keep yeah. a close watch on them. <laughs> well, it's, it's in terms of jealousy, mm -hmm. okay? And I don't know why, but I just feel like um, for you, um, having, it's like male friendships are quite strong mm -hmm. okay does that make sense yeah. as opposed to female yeah but you've always been better friends with guys like matt yeah. borrowed for example yeah. than girls haven't you yeah definitely but you um, don't see any jealousy from my end because i'm totally fine with you being friends with guys the only thing of it there's just one friend of his who i've never met and in the four years we've been dating she's never once mentioned me to him so like when they hang out i don't like that because it's like she clearly doesn't like me and he's like oh, no, she does but like i just feel like if she never mentioned me before She's had something from the past, so that's probably where jealousy comes in. Because I just don't like her really being around him because she clearly doesn't want to have a look at her. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I like all your girlfriends, yeah. but that's the only one I can think of where it's just like when it comes to her, I don't see why she's still around when she doesn't want to be at all. It's like she's not prepared to share anything. I mean, you're obviously picking up on something with her. You know, I, I feel like your intuition's right in the sense that you're picking up that she doesn't, she's got something against you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really want to use the word she doesn't like you because she doesn't really know you to, do, to judge yeah. that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Probably because I rejected her and I didn't reject you. Yeah, she, she liked him in the past. I liked him. Uh, yeah, she liked me years ago, but we've always been friends, so I rejected her. And it's like I, every time I'm not here, that's when she's like, oh, come hang out, come see me. And then he'll go hang out there and I'm like, oh. But well, when I'm here, she still doesn't want to meet me. I don't get oh, it. I just see her as a sister. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I trust, yeah, I trust he's not going to do anything, but um, she just hates me. <laughs> um, I feel like she resents you. Oh. <laughs> you know, um, because you've kind of taken him away from her. Yeah. And I don't think she can get over that. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is why I feel like I've got her what not more. I feel that she doesn't want to meet you because then it will become obvious that it upsets her. She doesn't mind, she can kind of handle being your friend as long as you don't talk about <laughs> right. your partner because it hurts her. Right. Okay? Even though she doesn't want to admit that. Right. Okay. okay? She knows that you can never be you'll never be together. 
Um, but I feel like that's the reason why she's wanting no involvement with yeah. you, is because she's afraid. It's not that she doesn't like you, I think she's afraid that um, when she meets you and she sees that you're lovely, that she's got no reason to hate you. <laughs> she can't find anything on you. <laughs> I think that's going to probably upset her, and I just don't think she wants people to know that. Yeah. Right. Also, okay. a question, a question you probably wouldn't want to say the answer if it is or not. Do you see any divorce? That's the thing I think about. Like, do you see a divorce in the future? I didn't even think to ask that. I know. I was like, I don't know if I want to ask that, but it's like. The future Actually, can always be half, changed. Yeah, over half of marriage is in divorce. And yeah, the future can always be changed, so that's why I like keep an open mind. I wonder if you can see. I can't. Um, there's nothing here indicating like an ending. Love it. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Okay. Good answers. <laughs> that was interesting. That was insane. That was really crazy. That was exactly what we wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the things, because again, before we went to meet her, I used my candle business email. Because <laughs> yeah. I was like skeptical. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to like tell her her name. She didn't know our names before we got there. She didn't know anything about us. So that's really crazy that she knew about how we have multiple businesses. We both want to be into property. Then we want to live by the lake. She said, look for a lake. That's literally that is the all weirdest we talk thing, about is candle and lake. The only thing I didn't like is the two kids. I still I know. one psychic told me four, one told me two. I'm still rooting for four. But that's Not so exciting! Yeah, we're gonna have babies. And we're having two dogs and a cat, apparently. And apparently, you're proposing in the next year. I know. <laughs> you I was guys like, when she freaked out. Like when we first started the reading, she was like, "Oh, you're engaged," and she was like, "Oh no, you're getting engaged very soon, aren't you?" And we we're like, "No." And then she <laughs> said she sees it in the next year. Because you're going to be celebrating something, and you're going to be so excited that you proposed. Interesting. Sam said he wanted to grab a quick snack. That is not a quick snack. You're not going to want dinner. I'm going to eat dinner alone. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, you're going to have more. <laughs> Second order, please. Look at that. It's so nasty. <laughs> so good. Look at all the grease. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stay there. So, honey, what just happened? Did you go over to the neighbor's house with a one week and two day old baby? Basically, our next door neighbor has a legit baby baby. Not just like, oh, a like, baby baby. My one year old, it's like a baby. Like Called a Sebastian. Old. Yeah. And Sebastian is one week and two days old. And a new rescue dog. So, I just saw the dog and not the baby. The baby's sleeping. But they did say they will bring the baby! <laughs> they said what? probably hear us. They said what? That they're gonna bring the baby! Okay. Yeah, honey. And now my Oh, today's a good day. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so guys, Monica's got this weird obsession with keyboards oh, and don't. tapping keys on keyboards. It sounds odd, I know. But yeah, you love it, don't you? Honey? Basically, I love like buttons. So like pressing buttons, like, you know like those gamer keyboards? But I just started doing a lot more blog writing. So I was- For my blog, I started a dog blog. Yeah. With my new business, so. So I thought if I'm gonna be typing a lot, might as well really enjoy it. I was so I was so happy when she said you guys have a clear connection as friends as well. Like you're clearly, you know, in it for friendship as well as being yeah. soulmates. I was like, oh, I know. Oh, is it God. clicky? Is it clicky? Is it clicky? Was she gonna rate it out of ten? I really hope it's. Oh, oh that's a clicky looking one. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna write like 30 blogs today. Yeah. So Is it clicky? Wait, where's my mouse? Because <laughs> the back keyboards are so like, the, the buttons are so yeah, I, I love, I love how like, excited listen. you get over just a button. Listen, listen. This is my favorite button on every single keyboard. Zero. Yeah. Like, what about a shift? No. It's just, no. I don't know why. What's your phone number? Okay, so that was a super successful day. What do you that think was of really, the psychic? That was really, really cool. Um, like I said in the car before, she didn't really know anything about us before. Like I get it for like, hey, we're Sam and Monica from YouTube wanting to film this video. We didn't say it. She didn't no. even know his name. She just knew my yeah. first name. So it was really cool, like knowing that we both are getting into property, knowing about my movie stuff, no, your no. businesses. Yeah, and I love that she said like, oh, we're definitely soulmates. She, I, I love how like her face literally dropped. She was like, yeah, you're soulmates. Yeah, she was, I mean, so she was like your best friends as well, and like all that kind of stuff. I was yeah. like, we'll just go. Yeah, that's a soulmate kiss. Definitely. I, think I need so, another. I can't yeah, test. 
Test what? <laughs> Monica's got to write some blogs. <laughs> yeah. well, you don't have to, but she wants to write I some really blogs. I want to. Uh, yeah, talking about a blog, by the way, I just started up a new blog called acedogblog.com. Monica's basically writing a bunch of blogs for me and stuff. So everything be... you'll see on there is basically me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. I love doggies. Anyway, guys, so we will catch you soon. Bye, guys. Catch you in the next video.